Hey everyone, it's March 29th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with John Martin Crawford, a Canadian serial killer known as the Lady Killer, who targeted First Nations Canadian women, killing at least four in 1981 and 1992. And that is him right up there. Crawford was born in 1962, and as a child was often neglected. He suffered burns to his chest, neck, and arms at the age of four from an accident while playing with a cigarette lighter when he was being watched by a babysitter. His experience with babysitter soon became even worse, with one molesting him that same year, and again when he was seven. Crawford's mother was addicted to bingo parlors, and his stepfather was a gambling addict who frequently lost his entire paycheck as a cab driver, so they were too busy to pay much attention to him. He ran away from home multiple times starting at the age of three, and by the age of twelve he had become a bully, picking on smaller children as well as developing a glue-sniffing habit. In his teens, Crawford picked up alcohol and harder drugs, including LSD, mushrooms, and prescription pills. As a 13-year-old, along with two other boys, he paid an 11-year-old girl for sexual favors, beginning to think of sex as transactional. At the age of 16, he began to hear voices which were telling him to do bad things. And in 1981, when he was 19, Crawford abducted, sexually assaulted, and killed a native Canadian woman, then returned to a tavern to eat pizza and drink beer. He was arrested and charged with murder, though authorities didn't seem to take the case as seriously as they should have, likely because he was a white man and she was a native woman. Allowed to plead guilty to manslaughter, he only served eight years in prison. Upon his release, Crawford quickly fell back into his old ways, sexually assaulting a prostitute while he was under police surveillance. After this incident, she was arrested for her profession, and he was allowed to walk free, again, likely due to authorities not seeming to care about the fate of native women. He went on to kill at least three more women in 1992, but it is suspected he killed three others, and the number could be much higher. When Crawford was finally apprehended in 1995, other victims came forward to tell authorities about the sexual assaults he had perpetuated alongside a former cellmate. His killing spree is detailed in the book Just Another Indian, which is focused on the indifference the police showed throughout the case because the victims were predominantly First Nations women. Crawford was sent away for three consecutive life sentences and died behind bars in Saskatoon in 2020. If this was your birthday, I hope you had a great day. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, you can send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to John Martin Crawford, I have to say, happy birthday, you bastard.